don't you necessarily have to make a trip down here. You have teleconference. You do have Skype or some of the other things, too, if you want to see what she looks like. But I'm just saying, if you're going to code down your costs, perhaps you can do it on a teleconference instead of having her physically in the room. So, like I said, we may have to exclude this engineering firm because they have a conflict of interest because they, they do profit off this project. Uh, so we get rid of him and the lawyer, and then we go from there. What about the teleconferencing idea? I'm all right with that. Well, that's, we, we have a problem that we don't have the projector or the screen to do that with. Do we need to see her? so sure, Mayor, that you don't have the ability to save money that you may put into have her come down, you you could likely invest in, in renting the equipment for a short period. So I mean it just gives her one less reason not to come down. Or to discuss it with the with the board. I'd rather see her face to face, you know, with the public and the council. Well, we, do, we do have the equipment already. I mean, share it with the airport board. The teleconference, the phone is. We're going to have a projector or anything like that. And the phone is a good item. Of course, we're going to have a phone. Mr. Ailes? Yeah, hi. Um, since we do have three fifths, at least an agreement that this lady is going to be the arbiter of the particular meeting, is it possible? Yeah. I can't hear you. She won't really be the arbiter. She will answer questions. She will answer questions. Okay. But since we have three fifths agreement that she'll be the person to answer the questions. Uh, and since I can't stand to see line items added to the budget of the city, is there a possible possibility that we can come in and write a check toward this expense after the fact? Uh, contributions for this expense. No, 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 no. <laughs> Them paying us, paying the city for the expense of the federal government. Who's that? Anybody. Anybody. Anybody that would want to donate for that particular expense, if they don't want to see line items like this attached to city budget. I I'd have to run that through general fund. No. And well, you you're just saying you like to absorb some of the costs. That's all they're saying. I, I understand what he's saying, but you want to if you're going to do that, then pay her directly. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, <laughs> I've got to run through the general general books. Being in opposition, that might look kind of bad. Exactly. That's why I'm saying if I if I could have a fund or some sort of a contribution place that I can go to. I mean, I mean I, it can go in the airport's budget, but I have nothing there to basically take it from. Mr. Pinsky. I don't have it set up. Okay. Thank you, yeah. First of all, the federal government has a certain responsibility in this. If you want them to come down, there's a certain amount of federal responsibility for them to come here. The other thing I would suggest that you do is you line up your questions well thought out before you present them to this lady. Actually, when I sit here and look at all this and I listen to it, it sounds like a bunch of children in a school classroom. Certainly hadn't been handled in a very business-like manner from either board. So wake up, put it down on paper, find out what you're looking for, and make some proper decisions. You're not getting anywhere arguing back and forth. Get the facts. I heard that earlier in the evening. Get the facts. When you get the facts, act on the facts. Don't act on emotion. Put it together. I think I've said enough. That's all I got to say. Thank you for your comments, Dale. Sir? Um, I've been to two of the meetings. I was at the one where the, the BOAC, and I've been to this one. Um, I don't have ground they're going to take. I'm not going to prop it from it. Then I heard the comment about, well, the taxpayers. All they're thinking, if it's going to cost me money, I don't want any part of it. 
Well, if it gets to a point where the taxpayer has no more money, I listen to this comment. If we, if somebody will donate the money, and the city can't take it, but if they want to tax us, they'll tax us some more and just take it in the blink of an eye. It gets to a point where I can't pay any more taxes. Where and, and you know, if you can show me the benefit of this airport, and it can be self-sufficient, and you can build it without taking people's ground that don't want to give it up, that's great. I'm all for that. But we have projects going on that are being taxed. The county has a once a school building project, which is completely different from this. But yet I see a necessity in the school more so than this airport. I see more of a benefit in this school than more so this airport. And like Hale said, the bickering back and forth. Maybe this is personal, but I, I saw Bill accused two times of being unprofessional and disrespectful. Well, last week, or the last meeting, when he was asking those questions, he was asking the way the people that voted him in presented them to him. I don't think he reworded them. I don't think he was accusing anybody of anything. I think he, I, in my opinion, he professionally did what he was supposed to, but he was accused of something different. Same thing here tonight. And I saw you sit there and degrade him. Nobody made a comment about that. But, but I, you know, I think you guys are the board that are, you guys are the people that are put in place, elected by the people of this city. And we have confidence that you'll do your job right. And there's going to be differences of opinions. There's going to be two sides to every story. And, and what I heard from the, from the BOAC meeting and the stuff that the questions Bill answered tonight, they were different. The, the engineer got here and said, we're past the point of no return. Well, that's not what I heard tonight. I don't think we're past that point. And if we're funneling money into something that is, that is not one, let's just slow it down a little bit. Let's see if, okay, if we're two or three million dollars into it, well, okay, weigh that option. Do we want to be 30 million dollars into it? If it's not going to be a profit and a benefit for us, do we want to be that far into it? And then it's too late. I can't pay for that. I got renters who can't pay their rent now. So where am I supposed to get the money to make my house payment? Because I'm paying taxes, I'm paying insurance, I'm paying maintenance. Let's slow it down like these guys said. Let's find, and you say he's an outside, an outside source. Well, he sits right here in these board meetings. Now, I agree. I think he can make a professional. I can do a, he can do a professional job. But he, he's not, in my opinion, an outside source. He's, he's the city attorney. And I'm not to say he wouldn't do a good job at it. And, and if the city, that money's paid for, that's great. And, and to get this guy from the FFA, like he said, you need to have those questions lined out. And I almost think you need to we send will. We will, Bruce. I think you need to send them to her ahead of time. So she can make an educated answer on it. Not wait until she gets here and present and say, here's what we want to know. Well, I, I don't know. I have to get back to you on that. Well, we're waiting on some answers back from the last meeting. So let her know what you want up front and so she can have educated answers. Slow it down a little bit. I, you, well, we say it's gone on six or seven years. Yeah, it has gone on six or seven years. But I would rather know we owe $2 million than $30 million and it's too late. You know, it doesn't have to be shoved through. And from what I'm hearing, there's there's still time. This grant money is not going to die. It's you know the, tree, the grant tree is still growing. The money's still coming off the leaves. But but slow it down a little bit and make sure that that we do have the right answers. You know, one side, and I'm not saying one side's lying. I'm not saying the other side's lying. But everybody's going to present the facts how they want them to be heard. That's the way you can answer a question two or three different ways. How you how you want it to be heard is how you'll answer it. How you want to hear it is how you'll hear it. So let's let's give it a little time to make sure that we are that we're on the right track, that everybody's on the same page, and that the goal at the end is going to be the one that benefits everybody. Thank you. Bruce, I didn't say I couldn't take the money. Anybody can give a donation. Okay. I, 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 misunderstood I, I apologize that. to you for that. I mean, but it, it, I'm just way saying, you can give a donation for anything. It's got to be ran through the books. It's not going to go back out as being a donation. Okay. I, I apologize to you. I, I mean, I kind of I just want to make sure you yeah, understood I, I, that. Yeah. But it, it, it just. Anybody I mean, can give. Our fire department gets donations all the time. But we have different items set up for them. There is a donation fund for them. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I do, and I apologize to you. I apologize. I just want you to understand. 